Good morning, kindergartners. Good morning. Good morning. How are we today? Good. Good. I'm okay. tired. Oh, that's okay. We're going to do lots of learning today, so it'll perk you right up. Yay. So, remember how we talked about two categories of letters? Does anyone remember the two categories of letters we learned? Hmm. Montana. Vowel. A vowel. We learned a vowel. And what are our vowels? A, E, I, N, O, and U. Good job. Okay. And Chelsea, do you remember the other category we learned? Consonants. Consonants. What three main consonants did we talk about? Does anyone remember? S. S. Good job. M. N and M. N. 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 Good job. Okay. So we learned about our vowels and our consonants. And today, we are going to actually work on onsets and rhymes. So our goal for today is I can split a word into an onset and a rhyme. So does anyone know what the word separate means? If you're going to separate something, Chelsea. To break it up. To break it up. So we're going to take a word, and this will be a word that you guys are very familiar with because we've been working with the letters. And what we're going to do is we're going to break it up. So we go and we find the vowel, right? So we said the A was our vowel in the word, and we're going to split it up. So now we have an M portion and an AN portion. The M portion is called the onset. And how you can remember that is it's on first. So if you put something on, right, it's and then the A-N is going to be the rhyme. But it's not the typical rhyme that you would think if you have Dr. Seuss books or something. It's not what it's spelled a little different, but it's just the ending letters that are the vowel and everything after. So what we're going to do is we're going to take another word. And our word is Sam. Now. Who thinks they can find the vowel? Where's the vowel in our word? Montana. A. A. So our vowel is right here. So in order to find the onset and the rhyme, what do we have to do? If we know where our vowel is. Look at the beginning and the end. The beginning and the end. But how? what does the A have to do with our onsets and our rhymes? It splits it. It splits it. So where's our line going to go? That splits it. Does anyone know? Chelsea? After the S. After the S. So we always find our vowel and go to the left of it. And you find the first letter and you put a line. Yes. What if there's another vowel in the word? You always want to find the first vowel, right? So, like, if we have the word goal up here. We go find the first vowel, so we have an O and an A, but O comes first. So then we put our line right there, and we do our onset and then our right. Okay, so who thinks they can come up to the board and find the onset? Anyone think they can come to the board and find the onset? Montana, I'll have you underline it for us. Find the onset. Good job. Okay. Now, why did you choose that to be the onset? Because onset is beginning. It's the beginning. So you found your vowel, and you know that the onset comes before. So, who can tell me where the rhyme is? You can just raise your hand if you want. Where is the rhyme? Chelsea. Am. Am. Good job. So what two letters make up the rhyme? A and M. A and M. Okay. Now we're going to try a harder one. Does everyone think they got it? Okay. Try an extra hard one. This one includes a letter you guys haven't learned yet. Maybe you've seen it before. But who can tell me where the vowel is. Who wants to come up and circle our vowel? Chelsea, come up and circle our vowel and tell us what it is. It's an A. It's an A. And 
what does it make? What sound does it make? Uh, is that long or short? Short. Short. And if it was a long A, what would it say? A. A. Good job. Okay, so now where are we going to separate our word? If we found the vowel, where's our line of separation? After the first letter. After the first letter, but it's also right before the vowel. We always want to look at the vowel. Because remember in goal, maybe if you had another vowel over the end. So you always got to make sure you go right so after. It's before right before. There the you go. Good job. Okay. Now, Montana, do you think you can find the rhyme for us? Yeah. The rhyme. Okay, come underline the rhyme. What letters make up the rhyme? A, S, and K. All right, and why did you choose that? Because it is you don't know. So, remember our rhymes are always, they always come after our onset. Yes. Correct? And then what it is is it makes up the vowel and all the letters after. So you found your vowel and you underlined your vowel and then everything after. Yes. All right. So now, go ahead and stand up and head back to your desks. Okay. And what we're going to do is there's a worksheet on your desk and it'll have words like this that have mask or maybe Sam again, or man, or other words that we've learned. And what you're going to do is you're going to circle the onset and underline the rhyme. So we'll do this. If you have the word mask, I'll give you an example. So you're going to Circle the onset and underline the rhyme. And you just go through. And if you need to, you can work with a partner. That's fine, too. But then, if you finish, go ahead and turn it in and continue working on your letters like we have been with the decorations. And then grab an exit slip before you head out to recess and you may go.